Okay, we come to our last video in this series. Now we're going to integrate our system to SQL Server Database. And in this case, local SQL Server Database. We're going to have these applications. One is a SQL Server Management Studio. You can download from here. I will give the link later. And also, we will have the SQL Server Express. Just click this one to download. If you already have, then it's good. Let's we continue. And the first thing we need to do is uh, creating our database and our table. So going to the SQL Server Management Studio, I have connect to my database. Let's we create our uh, new database. Let's name it as a Blazor Out. Okay. And we can just uh, Add new tables here as a K column. We input a name of email for char 100. I think it's okay. And also the what a password for char 100. And also a role. A role, I think oh, we only have admin at 10. Okay, 10 is okay. And in here, all is a non null we don't allow nulls value here and also email as our primary key and a save by using a chatter lns and the table name we're going to set um, user okay let's we try to refresh and see okay good 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 and now we will add this database into our uh, project using entity framework database force so let's back to our project and we need some dependencies here so right click in project manage nugget package you need to install entity framework core okay this one and then entity framework core uh, design okay, accept and there is a uh, entity framework core tools And also um, this one, Entity Framework Core SQL Server. Okay, now we need to add our connection string in our application setting to connect to our SQL Server database. Go to here, application setting. And we need to add new connection strings, okay. Uh, name it as a default connection okay done so we have a new connection string name as a default connection this is our local SQL server address and then this one is our database name and also we need all of this uh, setting to be able to access our local database and then we are going to use entity framework database first so it will converting our a database and our a table in here as a C sub class in here later. So we are going to use that class to be able to manipulate our data in our database. To do that, we're going to a package manager console in here. And then you need to put this one scaf tab. Okay. Name connection. Okay so it's not typo i just copy and then yeah, copy again make sure you're not typo in here microsoft entity framework core sql cell for and output directory is data so the class later we get we will put into this one this folder Okay, enter. As you can see, now we get all the class in here. Yeah, only one actually, user class. And we also have a new Blazor out context. So we're able to use this one later to access in our database. And if you see, there is need to configure in here. Okay, on configuring, we need to remove it. It will be make a problem to our application. And this one, it's error actually, because uh, we go to the application DB context. 
and we have this one i think just remove it okay good okay should be fine now and then in order to our uh, blazor application able to access this db context we need to call from our program.cs i uh, just put in here builder service at db context okay the db context should be this one eh? blazor out context okay and i copy and then you put the options options uh, use sql server and uh, we call our connection string by using this one builder configuration get connection string i think better we copy so there is no typo and i think need to close yeah. okay close now we should able to access this uh, blazor out context and there is thing we need to modify into our uh, application db context i think we change this one uh, to a user service instead of db context fish okay this one should change also and we don't need this one again but instead we will have a constructor ctor tab and we will have a laser out context in here okay i press the chatter line and dot and what we have here should be okay this one create and assign field context so it will create automatically private variable okay we can use it and now we can modify okay for this one context users any whether that why this error okay because it's static yeah i think okay good and then this one to be users and we need to save changes context save changes okay good and for this one context dot okay we need to remove the static first context users okay the rest is just leave it as it is okay now we're using a db context instead of a in memory database so in order to able to use this user service we need to add also in a program.cs builder services at scope user service okay close it and now we're able to use this one uh, into our uh, pages we can okay go to the register we need to inject first inject user service okay user service okay and then this one we change into user service with lowercase okay the error is gone and also for the login we also need to do same i think too lazy just copy and first day here okay and user service oh this one we forgot to add the alert yeah okay okay we add the alert alert ref alert okay too long huh? add reference no need to. okay good and then we need to define it here and we okay add the reference we call show uh, this one should be valid when user is null we can show it as an invalid email or password okay now should be fine there is no error we can try it okay we try to register alvin at gmail.com one two three admin register 
Now register successfully. Let's be verify in our database. Uh, right click in user. Okay, edit top 100. Ah, uh, good. Now we are able to see our data in our database. And then we try to login using this credential. Let's try ah, uh, login one two three. Okay, and we got error in here when login. If we see in here, it's because of string comparison. Okay, let me close it. Okay, if we check again in our user service, uh, seems this one uh, not able to use with link. So there is alternative for this one. Just uh, to lower, to lower equals to email to lower. So we convert all to to lower. So by this, we we'll ignore either the case is a is upper case or lower case. So we can try it again. No need to register because we already save into our database. One, two, three. Let's hope there is no issue. Okay, good. Now we are able to authenticate. We see our email and our role. And of course, we are able to log out. Okay, that's all for this video and tutorial. You will able to download the source code in description. And any question you can ask here. Thank you.